What's up guys, welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1968 Chevy Chevelle. Come back early 70s, 454 power steering, power brakes. And man, she's cammed up pretty good. About the only thing she's missing, a nice little fan shroud for protection there, extra cooling. It's got the fiberglass hood, it's got slicks on the back. Should be one fast ride. Detailed pictures, finance and shipping, maplemotors.com. Aftermarket set of weld wheels like disc brakes in the front, dual exhaust. It's got the bench seat. Pretty nice interior. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video for now. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we leave, we'll look around the interior, check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? A little game we like to play on the channel, aftermarket shifter. Interior is actually pretty clean in this one. It's got a nice little seat belt there. They upgraded too, probably because this thing's a little rocket. And the interior is in pretty good shape. It's got that old car smell. Starts up decent. I'll let it warm up a little bit. It's still on the way up there. Radio. Lower motor's working. Of course, you got left turn signal, right turn signal, tack, and wipers. The wipers are hitting that hood, though, so we got to be careful because that is an aftermarket hood. I'm going to go fix that, and we'll hit the road. Or No. Not hogging. Get this seat belt on here. We're good to go. It's the first time I've driven this ride. We'll be checking everything over. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Okay. The brakes, pretty stiff on this one. We'll be keeping an eye on them too. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it in drive. It doesn't feel like a manual valve body or anything. Again, those brakes, I mean, they're not stopping very good. what it is with them and maybe the vacuum because they're stopping really good right now but when it was loading up in the parking lot or not really loading up it's just sitting there idling it was probably sucking the vacuum away from the brakes and i mean when you get in that throttle you can feel her getting squirrely she feels good i mean i can't complain it's a pretty fun feeling car as far as suspension goes pretty smooth still got that right pull I'm not having to turn right at all. It's doing it for me. And again, now the brakes feel okay. So, like I said, I think they were just uh, sucking the vacuum in the parking lot. Try them again. And yes, I'm two footing today. This is a two foot kind of car to me. You got a real hot rod. You usually drive with both feet. <laughs> Yeah, she's just getting out on me there. It feels good. It's sticking really well, so I don't feel like I'm losing control. It's just, you know, a little slide here, a little slide there, and the roads are dry. So now we're gonna go up in the parking lot here. I'm gonna get some undercarriage shots, some outside stuff. 
uh, and passed by the camera a few times. We'll head back to the lot. And then I already did picking out the flaws. I did it first because it has been raining off and on today. And I gave the road time to dry up. So let's get these outside shots here. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get this seat belt on. So far so good. Engine's like 170 on the temp. Oil pressure's 50. I mean, good vitals. And she's running great. I haven't had any issues where they're getting close to idling down or loading up. Um, I was worried about that at first because it's such a big cam. But I mean, it feels good. All right, here, let's roll on. Heading on back to the lot now whole front end just picks up back end just ducks down feels right really tight it's still got that right pull but I mean as soon as I turn it turns it's nice and tight getting in the throttle I mean plenty of power sounds great and it's smooth the speedometer is way off it says we're going 75 we're only running like 40 if that maybe 35 40 it's a low geared car so you're not gonna want, even wanna run 75 for a long period of time. It's more of a 65 mile an hour car, uh, just a cruiser. But you got the power to race, that's for sure. Just burning out the whole time until I let out. Speed bump here, feels good. And the roads are not wet back there. You can smell a little bit of rubber. <laughs> I do like this one. This is one fun toy. Some of the interior used to be blue. I can see down there where it's been painted on.
I said, plenty of power, lots of fun, guys. I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to stick around. Picking out the flaws is up next. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. Okay guys, getting ready to walk around this ride, picking out the flaws that's coming up here. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Remember, detailed pictures is at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around the front end on this one, it's got a little bit of bugs. Let me take it off that front bumper, but it's not in bad shape. Maybe some light scratches, light pitting. Coming down the side here, you do got a big old touch up mark there, big old chip. Get over the fender down the lower portion. A little bubble in the corner of the door there. You can see the paint's busted right here. A bubble there. No, nope, that was water. Went over that. Been fighting the rain all day today. Light chips. There's the back tire kicking them up. In fact, your midsection. Little scuff here. Light scratches. Little scuff there. That'll come off. Chip on the edge of the door. Light little scuffs there. Little scuff here. Up top too. Little scuffs. This kind of stuff's gonna come off too. It's just sitting on top of the paint. It's not like it's messed the paint up. Montana's all lean back. There we go. Tighten her down. Pin up your pillar. Pretty good shape. Your front window, not bad at all. Trim looks good. You got some cracks right here around the vent window seal. Up there around the weather stripping as well. You can see it's kind of crumbly. Light little scratches there on the window itself. Door handles in great shape. Coming on back. Sand marks in the back here about that big of a section. Crack up here. Back window on this one, not bad. Trim looks good. Up over the roof here. Let me grab the keys to the trunk real quick. Get your back bumper. A little bit of pitting in your trim. Scratch there. Let's go ahead and get those keys. We'll open it up. That way I don't forget. The trunk. There we go. I haven't even looked in here yet. Wow, it's in pretty good shape. It's freshly painted, you can tell, you can smell it. You can see where they've cut out right there and repaired. You can see some moisture down in the sides here. It's only because uh, it was pouring down rain all night. It may have been coming from that back window. A lot of times you can see the drip. And then when I moved the car, it may have moved it. in your package tray. Fairly solid. And in your jams, the seal is not bad. A little excess glue.
up around your trunk on the edges there looks pretty good not too bad coming on down with it shuts easy good deal coming on down this side a chip there a couple light chips from that like i said the back tire kicking up some rocks up and over scuff here that will come out that'll buff out some debris wiping off got some more little scuffs i said it's from the wash mitt a little scratch a little wax chips light scratch there little chips up here in the front Get two of them back your midsection light little scuff there and up top touch up mark touch up mark up top here scuff in the middle of the door Door handle on this one looks pretty good. Little bubble there. Back up over the back side here. Little crack up top. Seeing the jam there, a little thick too. Back window looks good. Trim looks good on it. Same with the roof, little little spot here in the paint, but it's so small, you might not even see it in the video. There's a little one there as well. To zoom all the way in on it. That's bug guts. Front windshield, trim, and window both look good. Small amount of pitting right here. Got some cracks right there in the vent seal. And pitting on your mirror. Spot there by the handle. Seal itself, it feels like it's dry rotted. It's still kind of squishy, but it's definitely dried out. Chip here. Spot there. And up on top here, you have a chip as well. So I haven't went on the test drive yet, but I'm putting this portion of the video at the end. Uh, this motor is just, just cold, I mean. I can grab the exhaust just to prove it. Um, I started with it because it does have slicks and the road is somewhat wet. It has been raining like crazy. Let's check out the interior. Door panel there is in good shape. Get a rip on your handle here, a little crack there. A little bit of pitting up your pillar here. seal looks good and your jam chip there carpet in this one looks pretty good it's not bad at all a little shaggy there up under where the mat used to be the seat looks pretty good Let's go ahead and open the back up here. It's not bad. Headliner is in good shape. Jump off in here. Let's look around the dash. Visors are not too bad. Seem pretty clean. Somebody painted that. 
the rearview mirror. The rearview mirror looks like it's fairly new. It's been replaced. It's not old glass. On your dash, it's kind of dried and it's been painted. Like I said, it's still pretty cold. I just pulled it off the front row a little bit ago. Fuel pumps there. There's a switch for it at the bottom here. I'm not sure what the blue switch is for. I've messed with it, nothing's happened. Uh, that, I'm not sure yet either. I don't know if it's actually hooked up to anything. Aftermarket gauges, upgraded shifter. Let's start it. She's cold right now. You can see on the temperature gauge. Plenty of oil pressure. Used to be a column shift car. Tax coming up. Show you the mileage. Of course, you know we can't stand by now. Let's try them wipers. Maybe I won't. Yeah, they are working. Good deal. Blower motor. It is blowing. Should have some heat. Radio. We got sound. Turn signals. Left side, right side. Car's not bad. Let's go listen to that motor. Sounds like it's got some roller rock. Of course, it came back early 70s, 454. Needs a fan trial for protection. Fiberglass hood. Stiff. We're coming down with it. Good springs. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Share this video. Detail pictures, finance, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. And every Monday, we put out new rides. Thanks, guys.